So the next part of the build is going to be the arms of the uh, Cerebi. And here are all the parts here. We're going to need this part, which is the decal sticker. And I'm going to use this and this. So we'll just bend this here. Take a toothpick, like so. And apply it like this. Um, ooh, sorry. Make sure that this part is facing up while the design feature of the sticker is facing down, like that. Like that. And then we're going to take this poly cap here. Put it in like so. And then put this part like in like so. And then the clear part, which is invisible to my eye, st stick it in there. And it looks like that. Alright, so next part is this, which is the side armor part. You want to put this trim part here. And we'll need this, followed by this. Actually, no. We'll need this part, which i got to remember the orientation. I think this goes like this. Um, hmm, that goes like that, that goes like that, and that goes like this, okay. So I'm to stick this part in here, like so. And then we got this guy here. Um... that in like that. So it looks like this. Let me make sure that... Yeah, because there's a little notch there that has to be up here. Um, then we get this part here, flip it up like that. Then the shoulder part... You want to make sure that this poly cap is in the round, uh, the round part of it is facing down. Then we have this that goes there, and then we close it up. And then finally, take this part, put it down here. Oops, wrong way. Like that. You have to feel it out. There we go. And then this notch, make sure that the notch is facing to the back so it goes like that. And we have this part here that goes like this. And then this part here, since this is the left arm, goes like that. And then these hands here, there's only one, I'm surprised, I think there's only one set of hands for the Seraphine. Seraphin, I don't know. I haven't looked at that yet. Oh, well, we put these two on like this. And there you have it. The arms of the Seraphine is now complete. I kind of like the Double jointed, uh, actually not double jointed. It has um, extra mo mo jo uh, mobility here in the in the uh, elbow. So that's kind. I kind of like that. And considering that it's two pieces that's held together, I kind of like this part here. Like it, it actually holds as a support. So it won't, so when you constantly turn it, it won't pop out. So, and then of course this can be 
bent up, which I almost had it, up to there. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so this part is done. Let's now move on to the next part. So the next part of the build is going to be the legs of the survey. And uh, we'll need this. We'll need number one here. This, oh no, not number one. This one, number seven. You'll know it's different because it has that little notch at the end of the poly caps. So you stick that one down there, like so, facing up. Then you have this foot part that goes down over it, like so. Then you have this that goes in here like that, followed by the foot trim. What was that cut? There. So the foot is done. Pretty simple. Next part, of course, is the knee cannons, which um, surprisingly. It's the it's this nice nice burgundy metallic burgundy color like I really am digging this. This is really nice. I wonder if there's a way I can reproduce this in paint. I've seen you know many people attempt to create a trans -am version of their of their kits, but I really like this color. I hope that maybe in the future I'll look into making some, a, a kit. Doesn't have to be from the double O line, it could be anything using this color. So I'll have to look into it. If anybody uh, who's who deals with type this type of paint before or knows this type of color and paint form, shoot me um send me an email, let me know. Alright, so we have this part here. I want to make sure that the flat section is facing this way. And then we close this up. Like so. And we put this part here. Um, make sure that the this part is conformed like this, as you can see. Now there is another sticker that we need to use, and that is this. So that goes in here like that. There we go. And then there's the clear part here. Which I will try to get it in there. Let me use this. There we go. It's held by friction, so that's fine. That's kind of cool. Like that. Alright. So we need this guy. We'll need this big fat poly cap that goes, oops, no, nope, wrong one, this one, goes right there. Then we'll take another number one, stick it in there, like that. We'll keep this to the size, so we'll follow the preparations. Then we'll have this, um, the orange trim part that goes in here. There we go. Alright, so that's fine. But we'll put this to the side. Now, <clears throat> we have this poly cap. And then, oops, this one, which I already probably put in already before. Stick this in here. So it looks like that. And then cover this up. Now, I got, I was a bit confused with this, and I almost screwed it up, so. So, since this is the left leg, this part here is from the left side. Remember the orientation of the leg and how this is. Well, actually, this is the upper thigh. And 
this part has to be like this and then you slide it in like that and then before you close this up you want to get this poly cap in there otherwise it's never going to meet the waste unit which we'll be building soon and then close it up like so you have also these two parts here and again be mindful with the orientation there goes there. There goes there. so it looks like this almost kind of like an inner frame yet it's not and then you slide this part here find a connection, there we go and then seal these up like that and then we'll take this foot put it here so it's in the right position Take this part here, put that in like that. You may, have to f you may have to finagle with it a bit. There we go. But the, the reason why it, there's a little bit of resistance is because there's two little lines, the two little um, notches there that pretty much aligns the uh, the this part. And then you take this, stick it in like that, and then fold it down. And there you have it. The legs of the CeraVe is now complete. Interesting design, of course, considering the fact that its mobility, it, it doesn't have that much of a posability, even though you can bend the legs as far as this. Um, this massive leg is pretty cumbersome to, to the eye. Not as cumbersome as what I've seen on the Virtue because it has a little bit more power to it. Plus, you have to admit, to have knee cannons like that is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's now move on to the next build.